This is the Google Pixel 7 Pro disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. First, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Next, we'll need to apply heat to the front of the phone using a hairdryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then we can use a pry tool to pry the screen off. The screen can now be lifted up from the right to the left. There's a metal bracket or cover covering the connector for the screen that needs to be removed. Now the flex cable can be disconnected from the main board. Here's a look at the other side of the screen. There's a plastic frame with some catches on there as well as some adhesive that goes around to affix it to the frame of the phone. There's a cutout on the top corner for the proximity sensor and the in-display fingerprint sensor is located here. There's some graphite film to help transfer heat that needs to be peeled off. At this point, there are eight T4 or Torx 4 screws that need to be removed. Now the mid plate can be lifted up and removed. There's a liquid damage indicator sticker, which is the white sticker on the side. And there's another liquid damage indicator sticker on the other side. And linear haptic or vibrator motor is located on the bottom. The battery cable cannot be disconnected. And then the battery pull tabs can be used to pry the battery off. Even with the provided pull tabs, the adhesive is pretty strong, so we're still going to have to use some isopropyl alcohol and apply some to the edges of the battery and let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute so it eats away at the adhesive underneath, making it easier to pry it off. Here's a better look at the 5000 mAh battery. We can proceed to disconnect the rest of the flex cables. There's a single T4 or Torx 5 screw holding down the millimeter away 5G antenna that needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. There are two T4 or Torx 4 screws holding on the camera assembly that need to be removed. There's a 50 megapixel wide, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 48 megapixel telephoto lens. The main camera has OIS or optical image stabilization. There's a single T4 or Torx 4 screw holding on the top earpiece speaker assembly. Here's a better look at the top earpiece speaker assembly. There are two areas with the little white foam balls, and those white foam balls help the speaker sound larger than it actually is. And there are rubber gaskets around the openings for the speaker and the microphone. Here's a better look at the 10.8 megapixel front facing camera. The white coaxial cable needs to be disconnected from the main board by popping it off. There are four T4 or Torx 4 screws holding on the main board. The black coaxial cables need to be disconnected by popping them off. The SIM reader is located here. There's some copper tape and a thermal pad over this shield. The primary microphone is located on the bottom. And the charger port is soldered to the main board. So replacing charger ports will be difficult. Once the copper tape is peeled back, we can see another thermal pad on top of the RAM and processor. Here's a look at the other side. The bottom speaker assembly can be lifted up and removed. This speaker also has the little white foam balls and there's a rubber gasket and mesh filter over the opening. There's some graphite film over the NFC antenna and wireless charging coil, and the flex cable is located over here for that. 
The proximity sensor is located on this antenna board on the top right, and there's another antenna board on the top left. Both of those are held down with a single T4 screw. This flex cable is for the camera bezel, which has the LED flash, this microphone over here, and makes a connection with the antenna board. Here's a better look at that. This flex cable is for the buttons on the side, and there are two T4 screws holding it in place. I tried to pry the back glass off, but it was extremely strong and wouldn't budge. So from the looks of it, it's glued to the frame. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 5.5 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the screen. Power on the phone and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.